it's FreshlyDuckerGames.com here, and today, something new is happening. If you guessed, I have my iPad, or I have phone, you are correct. I am doing a new type of video today, which is a review of an app. It's called Dragon Box. Well, right now I'm using Dragon Box 2, but it is my absolute favorite educational game in the world. There is no better educational game I have seen better than this one. This is the educational game. Watch and learn, people who are wanting to make an educational game. Ah! Alright. So, let's split. This is the intro to it. When the box is alone, the dragon will come out and grow. Get me alone. So you gotta tap these to get it alone. And it's not just that simple because I wouldn't be teaching you anything. It gets harder. So for example, when we go here, it gets so much harder. There's a new power. You have to drag these to each other to make the box get alone. But that's not even as hard as it gets. It gets a thousand times harder. And it's super easy compared to what I've done. Let's see. Now here, at level five, it tells you to get him alone on one side. So it's still, it's still pretty simple. You just do that, do that, and it's done. But still, that's super easy to me because there's so much more you can do. So you gotta get it to learn on one side, which is a really cool thing. So, so it's not like you have to get it alone on one side anymore. This is actually this area here. The middle area is actually representing the equals sign because this is teaching you algebra so algebra is awesome of course and this is kind of teaching you algebra but you'll see how is this algebra it's just a simple game well here's a new power you can drag these out into here now which is pretty fun and but you have to keep them even on the side so if i put night a night monster on this side then you have to put a night monster on the other side and night monsters represent plus and minus or times and divided by so you have to so you have to cancel them out and then you get the box alone on one side so there's a new power in this level but what would you do there's no night fish that you can drag you just tap this fish and it turns into night but you still have to keep it even. It's very important that you keep it even or you can't play the game. It will, you have to keep it even. You can't just have, add one thing to one side and have it on another side. 18, this level here, shows that it started replacing monsters with letters, which is getting you closer to having numbers because this is trying to teach you algebra, but it's just a game about getting the box alone. So, here you can just use the C, get it away. Do, 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 do. To start solving. And we're good. So it starts using letters. And then this next episode, and then this next one, there's a mysterious X here, but there's no box. Where's the box? I would, I was like, where in, where's the minus X? I was looking in this, in the bar area where you get the monsters from. I'm like, where's the X? Where's the X? Why can't I delete the X? Until I saw the floating particles around it when I started knowing it was a box. So, it's pretty, I find it pretty cool. And on this level, you have to simplify both sides here. Or, oops. Or it'll go, or it'll say yuck. So see, I didn't simplify both sides. As you can see, this side the monster could be canceled out. 
I just do it. It'll make sure it's alone. It'll take all the things. It'll go yuck because it doesn't need that. So it'll go. It won't. If you have to simplify both sides to finish the thing. So it's. And I just like you to note on how many levels there are in this game. It is like an actual game. It has a ton of different levels, and it's really fun. So a really cool thing about this game is the monster evolves as you play the game, which I find pretty awesome. So the more you play the levels, the, the more the monster grows, and it grows in bigger and bigger and bigger, and it gets really, really cool. So it's really fun because you start out as, you start out as just an egg or a seed if it's a plant monster and then you get the full grown monster when you're done with the level. So here it's showing me a new power. If it, this under thing, this line here represents division. And if it's something divided by itself, it's one. You have a dark one so you can add them together so you can cancel it out on one side which I find a pretty cool is a pretty cool power and next power up is and here's a new power this dot here represents times and something times one is just itself so you can just do it in and, uh, and the box will be alone so it's pretty so that's a so that's a pretty cool part and this it was a really cool way to teach you algebra. So, and also you can put these under here. Um, which is really cool. And you have, you can make one and then you do like this. It's real, it's like a really fun game. Sometimes I play it just to play the game without learning algebra. I mean, it doesn't feel like you're learning algebra, but you're learning algebra even when you're playing a really, really fun game that you really enjoy. So now let's move on to level three. Let's I've not completed. And this new power is the last power I'm going to be showing you today is when you drag this. So if I drag this guy on this side, it swaps it swaps what it is. So if I put, oh, I like this music. So if I put a fish on one side and then drag it to the other side, it would become a night fish. And it's such a cool game. If you're ever thinking about making an educational game, this, look at this game play this game and this is how you make an educational game that's good and it's amazing you still do have to pay for it but it's so worth the money it is such a fun game and i love it so much so yeah thank you for watching it and i'll see you tomorrow bye stop recording